Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of What We Eating. Uh, today's gonna be different today. I'm just going to assist in cooking. My husband's gonna make what? I'm gonna make what you call a lazy man's chicken and dumplings. That's what I call it. But the kids love it. Yeah, I can honestly say, I like good chicken and dumplings, but he can make better chicken and dumplings than I can. Some men can just cook better than women on some things, but yeah. I'm gonna let him do it today and I'm just gonna assist. So y'all come eat with us, okay? What we eat. And this is the easy one to do. You see, I'm doing it. All right, y'all. Y'all see this uh, wash tub for a pot? It's not a wash take tub, about, it's a stock pot. Take about 50 gallons to put in here. This is where I'm gonna put this old chicken in. I like to put the water in and uh, put just a little seasoning and a little onion and bell pepper and boil it just a little bit before I even put the chicken in the water. Um, some people just boil the chicken first, boil them off, but I like to put it in the little seasoned water. I like the taste, I like the taste of food. Y'all hear my son? Jamal. Alright, here we go. We done got 18 gallons of water. Hmm. We've gotten about 18 gallons of water, so we're gonna come over here to the stove. So I'll turn it up high first, just to go and get it there, because that's a whole bunch of water in there, people. Yeah, it is a lot. I think through. it's a little too much, though, babe. You gonna okay. have... No. <laughs> Come, these, these, these German dumplings, <laughs> they always work. I'm gonna try to stay out of it, but it's okay to have my opinion. Yeah, so yeah. Add, talk about what you're putting in the water, babe. Okay, I just put a little salt. That one salt. A little pepper. All right. A little onion powder. All right. I'm gonna get it open on there. Nobody's feeling it. A little salt. And you putting this in the water so it can boil with the chicken, right? Yeah, I, I want okay. my water to, you know, like when you got a sore throat, you know, get them getting, you're blocking my light. Y'all blocking my light, they can't see me. I want people to see. My okay, bad, my now, bad. You know, like when you got a sore throat, if you country like we are, an old remedy style, and you put a little salt in the warm water to boil with the help with your sore throat. But that salt already be thickening up in the water as it works. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I, gotcha. I want my water to just have just a little bite when it's going all through these chicken parts. Yeah, I got you. That's all I'm saying back. I don't know if we got interrupted, but we're back. So now, we're going to use drumsticks today. But you can use drumsticks, uh, thighs, leg quarters. I wouldn't say wings because you know when you boil them down that look tip on that wing got all little pieces of bones in it. But that's my favorite piece fried. Uh, oh yeah, y'all with y'all with John today. I talk a lot. Y'all y'all with me today. I talk a lot. Yeah, just come on, baby. Let's hey, get hey, together. don't cut my scenes, please. Don't cut my scenes. Oh lord, see okay, we, when we in the kitchen, now. we country. But we argue <laughs> like okay. I, I don't know. Okay. But now, we, why don't you get it together? I'm, I'm, I'm together, great. <laughs> but America, y'all write in the comments. Oh you know God! Write in the comments, please, ma'am. Please, <laughs> y'all write in the comments. This is too much. Am I too much? Let's, okay. Let's not over okay. talk it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a B. Uh, uh, oh. Shout out to him. <laughs> hey, that dude go hard. Yeah, oh, man. So uh, we, we're a big fan here. Yeah, uh, definitely. A B. What's his name? Smoking grill. Hey, he's smoking grill. Be tight if we get back to him that we gave him a shout out. Maybe he shoot it back. <laughs> but all right, so now, um, show you what we're using. We're gonna cut up these bell peppers and the onions. Now, I'm horrible cutting these up, but um, my wife, she's okay, here we are. There she is chopping up the bell peppers. The ones that I like to put in when I'm boiling the water at first, I like them kind of fat. I don't care about them being real small because really I just want a little flavor in my water. Some people may think this is unnecessary, but not for me. And another reason why it's cool for my water to be up so high on my dumplings, I slow cook them even though it's on the stove. 
I believe that if you take your time with it and let them um, seasonings bump into each other, it makes a difference. But you can cook these things. You don't have to uh, cook it with the uh, burner down low like I do. It's just what I prefer. How much you want to eat? That's, that's good right there. See, the I see she put, I'm putting about that much in the water for me. Now a little onion, and then uh, we'll get it ready and put the uh, chicken inside. The water, is, you probably can hear it starting to boil. Boil in the background now, in my wash bucket. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a good day when this reaches you. Uh, hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's safe. There's so much going on. Y'all just take care of yourselves. Be safe. So you basically giving it a rough chop. Well, I'm giving it a rough try. Chop. Yeah, there you go. Another big, big chunk. Yeah, so all okay. that will just fade into the water. Just go into the water. She's dumping that in the water. I'm going to give y'all a shot of the pot. So the camera's going to move right now. But there you go. So I'm going to let that go maybe another five or two minutes and then I am going to throw in my chicken. Sorry about the bumping. That little camera. All right, y'all. So I'm um, going to let this water boil a little bit. For you, it'll be just a click, but for us, it'll be a couple of minutes. So we see you in just a little bit. Yeah, we going back. Um, so now I'm going to get ready to put this chicken here. I'm a little hyped now. The sun that came through the windows in here. I can just feel it, you know, charging. All right, here we go. All right. So I'm going to get ready to put this chicken in. The water's been going long enough to my satisfaction. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this chicken in here. Chicken's been washed, I forgot to tell, let y'all know that. Some people may need to hear that. Wash your chicken. Wash your chicken, baby. Yeah, make sure you clean that, get them germs off, and then wash your hands <laughs> after you get to messing with the chicken. Mm -hmm. Don't go grab it on your kids, your donuts. Mm -mm. You got COVID out there trying to get us, so don't add E. coli and all this. Salmonella. Salmonella. All killer. I'll tell everybody, be safe, be careful. Be careful. How many chicken legs are you using? Um, I didn't count. <laughs> it's nine. Nine legs. <laughs> but y'all, I got a big pot, so you may not do nine yeah, legs. Yeah, that is big. Put in according to the size of your pot. We have a big family, so we're going to eat on this for a couple of days. Take it for lunch tomorrow, you know. Yep, so... This right here, I'm gonna let it boil, and I'll come and check on it as it's boiling through the day, cause I don't, I don't like it boiling real, real high. And I'll boil it till I can knock the meat off the bone. So right. we'll be back. This is the part that I don't like. The slowest part of the making the dumpling, to me, the way I do it. But it's the, the bone. The good thing about a leg is so real easy to do. I just kind of shake it in the water a little bit and let what's gonna fall fall. And then what don't, take you a spoon or a fork or something. I should've got me a knife. Sometimes I use a little knife and just knock it off. So if you remember how many pieces of chicken you put in, you know how many bones you need to get out if it's a leg. This is one reason why I say I don't like to do this with uh, wings because of that little corner, that tip of it got all that little pieces of gristles and bone. But this is my method, this is how I do it. You might see something you can do it and improve on. But this is one of my ways of trying to make my wife not have to cook and not get in trouble sometimes. Look at that, y'all. Right off the bone. What you mean, not getting in trouble? I'm sorry, what? Let's go ahead. <laughs> I, I just don't want to get in trouble. You know? About what? <laughs> yeah, about not helping, you know? Oh, so I'm I trying got... to help when I can sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I got See, you. See, America, she was going to cut my wig back then. <laughs> was not about to do that. I was just wondering what you meant. 
Probably not get in trouble and yeah, I understand. I mean, every wife wants their husband to help. Why wouldn't it? Especially if you're a working mom. And I know dads work too. Sometimes mom's jobs are a lot. We do a lot more, let's just be honest. Most of the time. I'm not gonna start that debate. You <laughs> say that for uh, on the couch live. Okay, okay. Well, let's finish with this chicken and dumplings. Then go ahead. Then we'll tell people how to do their marriage. <laughs> we ain't gonna but tell today people. Today we're gonna tell them how to do these hell dumplings. Oh lord. Okay, okay. there's three. I I won't make y'all sit and watch me take the whole pack out. But basically, you got you got what's going on. All right, so we'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, we back. I done got all the chicken off the bone. I done knocked it all in here. Let me let y'all see what it's looking like. And I done bagged my fire down. So now I in these big hunks, right? And like my wife, she was saying she hates this part. The little, a little short bone that be on the, on the leg. I'll get it in a second. But what I do now that I got it off the big bone is I just stir it around a little bit and break up these pieces in here. And then, uh, you know, I can pull it out the spoon when I get to it. But I'm not gonna make y'all watch all that. Like, she doesn't like the little corners of fat on the, mm -hmm. the gristle on the um, leg. So, you know, I'll pull that out, but I'm not in a rush. Cause I believe every, all that's got a little flavor. You know what I mean? Like, I, I got family members that eat the gristle out the chicken bone. I don't go that extreme, <laughs> no. but you know, I, I get what they're doing. They like all that flavor. That's all that right. old school coming out. So what you gonna add next? Okay, so what we're about to do now is drop in some of the boom that taste. I don't know if y'all have this in the stores where you at, but this is, uh, I'm from Texas and this is one of my favorites. Uh, I can't read without my glasses, but it's a Greek season. Mm -hmm. But this is what I like to add to almost everything I'm cooking. Let's shake a little bit in there. But how much are you using? Just eyeball. I do it, cause see, I do a little and I, I let it do cook. Do a taste test. And then I do a little and I let it cook. Cause I cook it real slow. Like I said, I don't back the fire down the fire. The heat down the fire. What you add it? What you add? I'm sorry, y'all. This is seasoning so And you saw I just had the cabinet. So then I'm gonna come over here with one of my favorite onion powder. I'm gonna shake me some of that up in there. Bring that garlic powder on you. Yeah, vampires won't like my dumplings. I, that I hit the black, no, I hit the black pepper since the beginning. I'm just gonna give a little bit because we got a three year old. Two. He'll be three in uh, weeks, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, our two year old coming up on being three really should. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little salt. So now, here comes the. Wait, I think you getting your poultry and the cheese. Oh, yeah, it was too close to my belly. My belly was hiding, y'all. But the poultry season, I like to put a little lead in there. But like I say, I'm gonna do a little at a time as I'm cooking it. My daughter's gonna do the honors of dropping the cube. Chicken bouillon cube. I've done that before. I'll just drop it, throw it in there, just place it so it won't. <laughs> place it away. Burn your head. As y'all know from watching my wife's channel, she's Don't drop it, just put it in there, yeah. There you go. How many? Do one more. This right here, <laughs> I'm doing a little more explosion in that. Yeah. A little more booyah. Oh. You want that when you eat it, man, you just be like, dang, this is good. That's right. You want a second help. Even when you pull, that why am I eating? Why am I still eating? Right. All right. So now, thank you, daughter. I'm gonna throw in some of these old onions, y'all. Y'all see that? How many onions is that? Was it two? Just one big But it was large. a big large yeah. onion. Yeah. If, but y'all fill up this bowl. My hands are big, so don't think it's small because I'm yeah, holding it one. It was one a really hand. large one. All right. 
throw me some of these in here. I like to see the splash. I know she say don't splash, but I like the splash. Why would you do that? Though? Hey, it's my thing. I'm doing it. Hmm. Maybe <laughs> I should start me a cooking channel <laughs> called Mess Up the Kitchen with Why Dad. You just, I thought you put all of it in there. No, I'm going to come back with a little bit more later. No. I'm like, I got you. Go ahead. Just, just a little more time, but I may put all the garlic in here. That's about how many cloves? What? I did like six, six total cloves. six cloves of garlic, fresh garlic. I'm shaking them in here, y'all. Normally when I cook, I'm just in here doing my thing. So y'all, if I forget to tell you something, don't get mad. I ain't skilled at okay. it. So now y'all gonna get it. Now some bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Two whole bell peppers. Now we're gonna drop them in now. You can see that pot starting to cool a little bit, so I might turn it up just a little. Okay, so I'm gonna let that do its thing, and I'm gonna come in here in about another 30 minutes. Like I say, I'm, it's slow for me. That's the way I like to do it. And I'm gonna stir it around a little bit and start picking out some of the pieces in there that my wife don't like. And uh, then we'll be getting close to putting in dumplings soon. And I have a simple method for that because I don't do the old school dumplings. I do the biscuits. And I'll show y'all how I do the biscuits soon. All right, y'all. See you in a second. All right. So now I've gotten all the parts. Well, my wife got most of them. Pretty much all of them. The parts out that she didn't like that's uh, boiled off of the leg of the chicken. So now I'm gonna put the rest of these in. This is the bell pepper. Yeah, you have the back on this mm -hmm. thing. All right. I'm gonna hit finish off with this onion. Boy, it's smelling like uh, turkey and dressing is uh, cooking in here. It's these onions and bell peppers going so hard, y'all. Hope y'all saw her dressing video. If you didn't, go watch it, man. I believe she used right my. Was that from my grandmother's recipe? Uh, uh I'm just the one I've been using for video. years. Uh huh. Yeah. But y'all should check it out, man. It's good. I eat hard on it every year. I eat hard on it. I be biting real hard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay, so uh, when y'all see me again, we'll be getting ready to do the dumplings. Okay. Okay, here we go, y'all. I am now putting in the biscuits. Um, it's been 30 minutes since you last saw me, and I'm using these grandma biscuits, um, but you can use whatever kind you want. I have one reason we like these, it's got little chunks of butter in it. More butter, the better to me. But you can roll this biscuit out if you want and cut them in strips or do like I do. I just pull them out a little bit, just a little bit, and then I tear them. And I just chuck them in, in my pot. And this is the fast, easy way to get your dumplings together for your chicken. And it's the lazy way. And it is Sunday, y'all. It's Sunday, y'all. My Cowboys play. It is weak. They two and, I mean, one and two. And let me tell you, they have made me mad. So hopefully these dumplings will be good today. So if Dallas upsets me, this can sit on my stomach and fix it up. <laughs> To the football fans out there. If y'all new to the channel, yeah, we big cowboy fans. We look from Texas, so I guess it should be obvious, but everybody from Texas don't pull for the cowboys. Right. There's only one type of, uh, how should I put it this way? Everybody's a cowboy fan that love football, and this is what I mean by that. You either love them, or you, hate. or you love to hate them. Because I have never seen more people 
know more about my team that don't go for them than the people that go for the team don't know. But anyway, let's get back to these dumps. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, I get serious with my cowboy. But we're going to put three of these big old suckers in there, man. She loves uh, the dumpling part the most. So we put a lot of biscuits in there. But you're going to see them start to swell a little as you stick them inside. But that's cool. When you stir it, they'll, they'll bump around and get off of each other. You know how it goes. <laughs> But, now that you know what we're doing with these dumplings, okay, we'll uh, throw in a stick of butter, and when we come back, and I'm just gonna put the whole thing in there, when we come back, you'll see some dumplings, man. We'll be getting ready to do what we call the money shot. And also, along the way, do your little taste test. Taste it, see if you want more seasoning to the way you like it. You know, like I said, we got a two year old, almost three. And um, we try to make sure we don't make some stuff too spicy for him. But uh, I, I'll make mine spicy on the side because I like a little heat. But um, like I say, when we come back, you'll see a done pot of dumplings. And thank y'all for riding with your boy. Okay, y'all, now the biscuits are inside. Um, so now I'm gonna let it slow cook, come in and make sure you check on it and stir it so it don't stick, uh, you don't wanna scorch or mess up your dumplings. I got it cooking on a four right now, low heat. And I'm gonna let it take its time, I'm taste it a little bit and see if I need to add a little something here and there. This is what I call the final run. Alright, so after this shot, when we come back, it'll be on the taste test. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. I sound like my wife coming back, don't you? Anyway, here's the finished product. Um, man, you can do it. I'm not a, a genius in this kitchen, but hey, get you some biscuits, a pack of chicken, and a few seasonings, man, and you can do this, bro. And to the sisters that want to try it, y'all, here it is. All right, anyway, I'm going to go and get some up out of here. All right. There we go. It's hot, y'all. I should have let it cool a little bit. Glad I don't have a cold, but if I did, boy, that would have slapped it right on out. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, smells good, too. It go hard. That's my way of saying it's very delicious. So, hey, y'all give it a try. And I'm going to thank my wife for letting me take over her little spot today. <laughs> y'all make sure to give her a thumbs up, a like, a comment, and share it. You know, share it on your uh, media, your uh, Twitters and all that other stuff, the Facebooks. Help, help her get out there, y'all. She's doing some good cooking here. All right, y'all. As she say, until next time, peace.